November 27th, 1960, was an important date for a lot of reasons. One of the more important reasons was that was the year Lois Nichols was born, the oldest daughter of my brother Terry Nichols. She had the distinction of being named after her paternal grandmother, Lois Stevens Nichols Walzak. She was commonly referred to as Little Lois, which was kind of funny because her namesake was only five foot tall, so to be little Lois, she had to be pretty small, and of course, as a baby, she was. She was an exceptional child with a tremendous personality and tremendous strength, which would show itself in years later. This was the second of seven children. Michael, her older brother, Bradley Eric, her younger brother, Melanie, Tony, Tammy and Erica. If you were counting, that's seven. My sister Dorothy had seven children. My sister Alice had seven children. My brother Jim had five children. He was a slacker, I guess. And of course, Terry and Sharon had seven children. Many families with a lot of children, they had a lot of things to learn from each other. One of the best things they learned, of course, was how to get along with each other. There was tragedy in their lives. Bradley Eric, Lois's next brother, uh, he died of an overdose of aspirin. Michael, the oldest child, had a tragic death. He drowned at the age of 18. The family now consisted of consisted of five children, Lois, Melanie, Tony, Tammy, and Erica. They learned to be strong and to help each other and to become closer as a result of the tragedies that they endured at such a young age. Lois and her family reside in the largest state in the United States the state of Alaska. Living in the state of Alaska inspires anybody who lives there with strength, with awe of what nature is, and an appreciation of the environment that many people in the lower 48 never have had and never will have. Ed and Lois have a fine family. They provided great leadership and shown the children love. And now they've become great grandparents, loving each of their grandchildren equally and providing great leadership again and showing how to give unconditional love. With these things in mind and others, I would like to share with you why I wanted to especially recognize Lois with a reading of something I sent her some time ago. Occasionally, we are blessed with the opportunity to meet people that have great souls. They are the people that have a great sense of humor, face adversity with belief that all will be for the better if we just persevere. I've always felt that my niece Lois to be such a person. Lois faced an uncertain future, facing down severe cancer at a very young age. Lois suffered unhappy marriage, only to meet her real life's companion. She is a wonderful mother, blessed with great children, children who know what a special mother they have. When Lois was told her father may not have long to live. She flew to Washington State to help and support her mother during the trying times. But fate did as fate will do, and her mother died not long after Lois had arrived. She unselfishly persevered 
and stayed in Washington to help her father through his change in life. Lois continues to be supportive of her father, her husband, children, grandchildren, and friends. And as I said in the beginning, occasionally we are blessed with the opportunity to meet people that have great souls. They are the people that have great sense of humor and face adversity with a belief that all will be better if we just persevere. I've always felt that my niece Lois to be such a person.